Greetings from the land of Hyrule, where we find our heroes battle-worn, weary, and low on health as they attempt to save the land from the treacherous sorcerer, USMLE. In this land's darkest hour, we turn to the young heroine Zelwa, who is here to help us remember Zellweger Syndrome. Let's get started. First, let's check in on Zelwa herself. As we mentioned, Zelwa represents Zellweger Syndrome, which is a peroxisome disorder. More specifically, it's the reduction or absence of functional peroxisomes, which unsurprisingly leads to a whole bunch of problems. To help you remember that it's a peroxisome disorder, Zelwa is using a bottle of peroxide to heal her male companion. Peroxide for peroxisome. Ugh, Zelwa, come on, that hurts. Cool it with the peroxide. And speaking of male companion, just take a look at that chiseled set of pecs on. Uh, let's call him Rink. But wait, they look a little... mutated? Kinda lumpy and a bit weird, but hey, if you've got it, flaunt it. Better than mine, at least. These mutated pecs are here to help you remember that Zellweger syndrome results from a mutation in the pecs gene. Get it? Pecs for... well, pecs? Did I really need to explain that? But whoa, seriously, Zelwa, easy with the peroxide. This guy needs some health potions or something. Take a look at his nearly empty health bar in the top right of the image. This should help you remember that Zellweger patients typically die early. In other words, it's characterized by early death. So when question stems, only consider Zellweger syndrome in newborns and infants. You'll never see this in patients that are older. Now back to the story. See those limp fish lying by Zelwa's castle moat? Zelwa must have caught these with her bare hands, all to save our boy Rink. Doesn't eating food replenish health in games? Don't worry, Rink. You've got more health incoming. Limp fish are a recurring symbol for hypotonia, a key feature seen in infants with Zellweger syndrome. Now take a look at the lever controlling the drawbridge. What do you mean it's weird? That's just what levers look like in Hyrule. And wait, aren't drawbridges meant to keep people out of castles? Must have been an oversight. Anyway, check out that lever handle that looks like, uh, oh, it's our liver lever. How convenient. And I thought we were done with this symbol. This liver lever should help you remember hepatomegaly, which is seen in patients with Zellweger syndrome. Now on to our next symbol. Wait, Barrio. Nice try. You're in the wrong game, my friend. Don't worry, you'll have your game sometime. This glitching video game character should help you remember seizures, which is a common feature of Zellweger syndrome. Finally, check out the small car next to the seizing Barrio. It looks like this glitched over from the last game. But what game could this be from? Just kidding. You know what game this is from. At Pixarize, we like to use small automobiles to represent autosomal recessive disorders. And Barrio's cute little car here should help you remember that Zellweger syndrome is inherited in an autosomal recessive fashion. And we're done! This has been a jam-packed scene. We went back in time, stopped the evil USMLE from obtaining the Triforce, which is obviously First Aid, UWorld, and Pixarize and still had time to whip up a quick fish dinner. Ah, just kidding. This game was actually really easy. Should have bought an Xbox. Anyway, I guess I'll see you in the sequel. Psst, that means the next image. Onward. Thanks for watching. For more videos like these, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also check out the interactive version of this image at pixarize.com by following the link in the description. If you like what we're doing, share with your friends on social media, and we'll keep making great content like this. We'll see you next time.